is March 11, 2022. This one here I got a call from a guy. He's got an oil burner and he wants me to make some adjustments on it. He said it's making a loud uh, noise when it starts up, rumbling noise when it starts up. And uh, he's one of these do it yourself guys that I guess watches YouTube and. Take the first right. He wants to do his own service, which is fine with me. I mean, calling me in to see if I could find out why it's rumbling and why, what's going on with it. So, it's a peerless boiler with a Beckett burner. So I want to go over there and see if I can find out. Sometimes it sounds like an that sounds like an air air issue. Uh, depends on what kind of burner it is. Sometimes the burners, um, different type of burners. Will be will be uh, harder to adjust than others if it's got a different type of drawer assembly. Doesn't have a fixed um, retention head. Some of those are a little bit difficult. But a lot of times that's an air issue, making a rumbling noise or a nozzle problem. Wrong nozzle. I'll put a smaller nozzle in there and see what happens. Might make for a good video. I'm sure he's going to be the helicopter type. And, uh, oh well. This Molly stayed home again today. I'm going to have to dock her pay. Oh yeah, they're going to have to dock her pay. Yeah, oh yeah, we're going to, we're going to have to cut her back on a snack intake. Mr. Grinch. This Molly. Yeah, we're going to have to cut her back on it. We'll give her as many snacks. Getting a little spoiled, I think. Yeah. Little tomato. Anyway, we'll try to get you some shots when I get there. See what's going on with this thing. So they changed all the nozzles and the filters and cleaned it and vacuumed it out and. All that shit should be taken care of. That's a lot of air. 1.20. Uh, See, that's a lot of air. So you're saying when it first starts? Yeah. That thing's got a 1.20 nozzle on. Is that too big for That's too, way too full. We're going to that that might be what the problem is right there. Yeah. Well, the oil burner guy did it? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I saw you the flipping oil. That's why I don't have a back over here. Oh uh, yeah. Day. How big's the house? But I use a coal stove most winter. Yeah, a little 75 would be fine with this thing. I mean, this is a five. I think this is a five section. Uh, that's an awful big boiler for a house. I don't think it is. It's a, a four. Five. It's a four yeah, section. Four. Yeah, you only got flipping one inch pipe, guy. One inch supply. One inch supply, you can only do 60,000 BTUs. Right? Yeah, okay. This is 100, 151. Right here, 180,000. You can only do one inch pipe. You can only put out, I think it's uh, 60, 60 or 80,000 BTUs, 60,000 BTUs. So, I mean, it's way overrated, Yeah. is what yeah. I'm saying. So let's let's see what we could do here. Yeah, What's this? This ain't all kinds of cat piss and shit, no, is it? No, it just finishes when we do. Yeah, you gotta watch that. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've seen it all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. Who watched that? He's tricking me. Flipping gas has gone up on diesel and oh, shit. God, yeah, How much you paying now? I don't know what uh, gas is. What for? Kind of weird that the thing went off on flipping. It doesn't even seem to be working here. What's going on? Is it? Oh, I shut it off. Did you shut it off or I shut it off? I shut it off. That's on right now. Yeah. I just want to hear. I want to hear what you're saying. Yeah, it's rattling. It's 18. It's a high limit. It's pretty high, yeah. I'll go 
Yeah. What do we got? We got zone valves. Yeah. Most of the winter, the, it's just hot water and it's heating my wife's studio. Yeah, I want to hear it. We'll turn up a couple of zones. It's gonna it takes 90 seconds for them yeah. to energize, and I just want to hear what it's what it is, so we can so we could yeah, do some fun. adjustments and see if we could change, fix that issue, you know. So it's not on a shutdown; it's just on a start up. Yeah, it, it kind of smooths out as it gets going. Not down here. I could just put it right here. It's fine. I don't want to. I don't want to lose it. Yeah. Oh yeah, it gets that cold burn. Right now it's, uh, oh yeah, that's quite yeah, the unit there, huh? Nice. And you got coal? You actually got coal? Oh yeah. I'm gonna have to get some of that for my ex-wife for Christmas. <laughs> Give her a thing of coal, no? Uh, what do you think? Hey, That'd work. Works for you. Just <laughs> 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 no, joking. You're not gonna score any points with that one. Huh? I said, you won't score any points with that one, that's for sure. <laughs> you think? No points. I think I'm past trying to score coin points with her. Yeah. You think? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of times that's an air issue, you know, I'd have to, I just want to hear it and then we'll, we'll see what we're going to do to it, address it. So you see, you took it apart and everything's clean. Everything. How's the damper? Is the damper closed or open or? The damper right now? No, I'm saying when it runs, is the damper oh, open? Oh, it opens, yeah. It does open. Yeah. You check your draft over the fire? I, I look through there and it looks pretty good, but uh. it, it's a matter of. Is it too much or is it not enough? Right. Well, at least at least the temperature's coming down. It was at 220 before, so once it gets to 180, it should fire. There it goes. I heard it click. I hit the delayed oil valve. Some 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 sounds like pump line there. That rumbling you're talking about there? Yeah, that's it. That's pretty good. Yeah. It almost sounds like that might be a pump, a motor or something. That's what I do. I do it in the It's not a crazy, not a crazy noise, like an air noise or nothing like that. Now you said you changed the filter? Yeah. And the pump filter was clean? Yeah. Let's look at the nozzle, what's going on with that. Let's see what we got for that. It's kind of weird as it only does it at first there, you know, and then it kind of goes away. That's why I was wondering if it could be a fan. It's so nothing, it's nothing, it's nothing major. I thought you meant like a, like a <laughs> noise oh, type of oh, thing, yeah. you know? Well. No, but the price of oil is going to run efficiently. Yeah, I would too. <laughs> Let's drop the nozzle size down a little bit. That's a flipping monster. You don't need all that big, big ass flipping monster nozzle in there. 120? Yeah. No. Yeah, he was a burning man, right? He's yeah. selling your oil? <laughs> yeah, he was. 
selling me oil. Oh, yeah, they're selling me oil. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, you know, I mean, they're going to sell you as much oil as they can. I mean, that's what they're making their money, right? Oh, yeah. Check the draw assembly, see where that's set at. That, that might be off right there a little bit. Alright, so that's where the draw assembly belongs, right there. Let's put a little bit different size nozzle in there and adjust the air down. I'm going to go with an 8570 in there. Oh, nozzle was loose. Nozzle was loose. But the nozzle's loose. I'm gonna change it anyway, but it was loose. Dumb, dumb. Hey, your nozzle is loose. That's it's probably loose. why. Yeah. Do you want to go with a smaller nozzle and save yeah. oil? Yeah. Put it Oh, no, I'm gonna so put an 85 in there. I mean, yeah. it's, it's like wait. It, that's probably what it was. The nozzle was loose. Well, Who did the you, service? You? Yeah, I put the nozzle on there. Well, you didn't tighten it up, guy. <laughs> it was it was rattling before I did that. So well, I don't think that was the problem. But. I think so. It was loose. I reset your uh, I set your draw assembly where it needs to be. I marked it, so okay. it's marked right exactly where it needs to be. We're gonna have to drop the air, air band down because we've got a different. Right. We got more. We got a different. Uh, it's gonna be more air. But you're gonna. You, you don't need that big nozzle in there. Most houses I run a 75. Oh wow. Yeah, you know, big big houses. You know what they yeah. need like. Two gallons a minute. I run a little 75 in there. Quiets it right down. And go. I have people say, oh, you can't do that. Watch me. <laughs> yeah. Hey, save on the fuel. Yeah. Not only that, it runs so much better. You know, not as, not as rumbly. And yeah. I'm not a big fan of these transformers. But we're going to have to cut the air band back for sure. So. I know that right from the get-go, so let's loosen it up. And once we start it, we'll adjust it. All right, let's try it again. We're going to wait 90 seconds for those zoom heads to, to call. Zoom valves? Yeah. Once you shut it off like that, it takes 90 seconds. I mean, the price of oil is going to be five dollars a gallon now. Oh, a lot. Easy. That's Easy. Cool. It's been a lot. You have a little wine going on there with it. All right, no rumble. side which we want to run it clean you know yeah. all right so we'll shut it off and we'll try it again okay but well, that should be perfect right there 
Then we just gonna have to, once we start it, we'll check our draft over the fire. And where'd you get my number from? Uh, you worked on a job. Uh, my nephew was renting a house on Gaffney Road. Yeah. And you worked on that furnace over there. Oh, and it was running good? Yeah, you kind of a problem with it. I think he wasn't getting hot water. Gaffney Road. Yeah, off Gaffney. Right, we're going to see how it starts and then we'll check the draft. Here we go. Is that damper open? Shut it. Shut it all the way. All right, we're getting, you got it shut all the way? Yeah. All right, we're getting a little draft over the fire there, not a lot, but you got to have it, you got to leave it shut, okay? Yeah, it's shut. What happens is when you get some heat in that, when you get some heat in that uh, chimney, you'll get a little better draft. That's good. You got to leave it shut all the way. There's an adjustment on that where you can shut it. Okay, so it should stay shut. You shut, it needs to be shut. Yeah, we, we check our draft over the fire here. If I got too much draft, we open that up to slow it down so your heat don't go out of the chimney. That's the only reason for that. But if you're not getting a good draft over the chimney because your chimney's not the greatest, you have to shut it. So we're, we're, we're good right there. Perfect. Starting up nice and quiet, running quiet, smaller nozzle, you're going to use less fuel, and you're going to be happy all around. Well, you can turn all your thermostats back down. Yeah, we'll do it, okay? Rear bands cut back. We readjusted the damper up there, shut it. Downsize the nozzle. The nozzle was loose. That was probably the rumbling, but we wanted to cut it back because of your oil consumption, right? It sounds um, better with Said draw assembly, reset air band, good draft. It will it will run quieter and, and less noise with a smaller nozzle. Um, just how it is. So that damper, you shut the damper, right? Yeah. We're going to leave that off. We don't need to run that. That's just to, to set our draft over the fire. If it's too much, then we open the damper to slow our draft down so our heat don't go up as quick. You know? Okay. That's all that's for. And we reset the air band. I did mock the drawer assembly. So you should be fine. You got the tiger loop. I mean, I would just make sure that you keep your filters clean at the tank. Yeah. And, uh... Tiger loop self bleeding, so you don't have to bleed it. Right. All right, guys, I just left that job, and um, the guy's nozzle was loose. That's probably what the noise was. Right? He wanted to go with a smaller nozzle. You don't need that big nozzle in there. That boiler is way oversized for that house. So I dropped the nozzle size down. It'll run. it run clean like that. And uh, only got one inch supply and return. I mean, you only can get so many BTUs out of the one inch supply and return. You don't need 175,000 BTUs when you only can put out. I think I think one inch is only 70 or 90,000 BTUs. I think it's 70 that you can put through one inch. If it was inch and a quarter, that's different. So. That was there before was selling them oil. Obviously, run a big nozzle in there to sell you as much oil as you can, right? So he's happy. I got it straightened out for him, and he what he did change all the filters and cleaned it just just recently. That that guy he did it himself. He must have put the nozzle in and didn't tighten it. Oh well. Sometimes you got to call on a professional. Straighten it out, and I'll be all right. I mean, I ran a 
an 85 in there, point eighty five. I could have I could have dropped it down to a 75, but running good now. He's happy. He heats his house with coal. I think he said that's only for his his wife's uh, studio apartment and hot water. That's all he uses that boiler for. So it's like like I said, it's way oversized. I could do the whole flipping house with a little three section boiler in there. Don't need a four. In a four section boiler, you could fire it up with different nozzles for different BTU ratings. But that's it, there. Yeah. Never a dull moment. 